That's right, this is the Crying Game, Armor Core 6, and it just seems like everybody keeps crying about it. Either they either love it, they're a fanboy, or they hate it. So I'm going to simply put this game to you in terms that you can understand. Armor Core 6 is a mission-based game with objectives and with a story. After each story and with a couple of missions, there's a couple chapters. After you complete these chapters, and after each chapter, and after a couple of these stories and missions, you'll have a boss fight. That big boss fight, as you can see some from the video, can be hard. Why? Because some people are used to a slow paced game. This is a rapid fast paced game and it takes some skill. Yes, there I said it. it. Takes some skill. Let me say that again. Skill. Sierra Kilo. India. Lima. Lima. We'll leave it there. And, oh, one big bonus about this game. No crafting. Thank you, Lord. All right. One of the biggest parts about this game is customization. You've got a part shop and assembly shop. A part shop, you can buy all your parts for your mech. How do you buy your parts? Well, you get money by completing missions. Something called Ecom. Am I saying that right? Ecom. Echo, Charlie, Oscar, Alpha, Mike. I'm not sure, but it's Ecom currency within Armor Core 6. There are no microtransactions. So everything you get for your mech, I'm sorry, your AC, is all in the part shop. Which is endless with color customization and schemes. Oh my god, I think there's 1,677,000 color schemes possibly that you can do in this game. I, it, yeah, anyway, it hurts my mind to think of it. So anyway, the money, there is no microtransactions. You play missions or replay missions for Ecom to buy parts. And you can make your Mac the way you want. You want to do something looks like a Transformer, a GoBot, a Gundam, whatever. Voltron, you can build it. This is every young male's dream from 1980 on. When we used to watch early anime like All-Star, Blazers, Voltron, things of that nature. And a little bit of Gundam, the early Gundam from the 80s, the good stuff. Yeah, we grew up with it. Finally, we get a game. Play Armor Core 6. This game sets on its own. is its own game. You do not have to know anything from the other games. You can start with this game and you'll be fine. That is just my opinion. So anyway, a little more about this game. There are arena fights. You can play against AI opponent for OS chips. What are OS chips? I don't know. Watch another video in the future coming up to my channel about OS chips with passive abilities for your AC. Oh, there's also a multiplayer for those of you who are interested in PvP against other players. You can go 1v1 or 3v3. That is available after Chapter 2. So, the only thing I guess to ask is, are you still interested in the game by watching some of the video and seeing how fast-paced it is? Forget all the haters. Stop watching all these other videos about, oh, I like this game, it's too hard. <laughs> go back playing your Nintendo. But anyway, this game is more of for, uh, I would say, fast-paced players who like quick gameplay with awesome battles, awesome hard boss fights with a definite challenge. Um, yeah, sure, you can go through with a tank build and demolish your opponents, but uh, doesn't that kind of cheapen the game? I mean, as you'll see in one of my videos on my channel where I go against Palteus, I fight against with a laser pistol, a sword, and two rocket launchers. I kick his ass. So let's recap Armor Core 6, shall we? If you want a basic design it, build it, blast it game with replayable missions and no crafting, no material gathering, no freaking microtransactions, and best of all, no woke shite either. This is a man's game or a lady's game, either or, or the in-between. But we don't need to put it everywhere. Thank you. So, if you want a hard rocking game, that will definitely put your mental state to a challenge. The Normal Core 6 is the game for you. Hit that like button.